so if you have been following my Google Calendar API series uh, you should know if we go to local host API cal so you should ask for permission if we allow that we should see uh, the events in the Google Calendar okay so these are the events on my Google Calendar so uh, it is listing them so now uh, this is the API so what we are gonna do in this video is we'll make something like this okay so we'll use that data to populate these uh, events so that it will be easier to manage them okay so let's get this started okay now let's install full calendar so if you go to download page uh, you can download this and include them but I'm going to use uh, CDN so uh, let's use them okay so if you go to uh, your project so I've created inside views events index so I've created basic HTML page uh, with this uh, first you should include jQuery then moment.js and then full calendar dot min dot js okay so up here I have included the CSS full calendar dot min dot CSS so before that I'll include uh, that bootstrap CDN so first I'll include CSS then after jQuery I'll include the bootstrap 3 okay now so in order to show full uh, calendar all you need to do is just uh, make a div uh, with any name and to initialize that I've created the script tag inside here just call the full calendar method okay so full calendar method on that div okay so inside docs basic uses you can see it's all here okay all right so uh, also I've created a route called slash events which will show the this view okay we have just created okay now let's uh, go to localhost slash events okay now we are seeing our calendar so our calendar is initialized successfully now w all we need to do is we need to just pull in the data from our API okay so let's do that so in order to do that uh, you have to fetch the event so uh, there are a couple of ways you can uh, fetch the uh, data so as an array JSON feed okay so what we uh, are going to do is we are going to pull the data from our mm, API okay so all you need to do is specify events so here so events and just specify the URL okay so our URL to that index page is API cal okay so this is the URL uh, to our this API over here index okay so uh, so uh, that will not work because uh, in this uh, yeah, full calendar so events uh, we should specify uh, we should provide the data in particular format okay so we have to pro uh, provide the title start and date okay so if that is all the event we have to specify all those kind of data so first let's uh, construct those datas okay so here inside our G calendar controller so at the moment we are returning all the datas like this so let's construct the data so I will give the comment full calendar friendly data construction okay now let's construct the data so here in the result we are getting all the items 
okay so yeah we'll get those items so let's call it events events result get item so these items will be the all all of our events uh, and now we'll loop through each of these events and fetch the data okay so let's do that so first initialize our data as an array define this variable so uh, this data variable uh, should contain all of the datas for our full calendar in this format okay okay now for each events as event okay so now we'll define a sub array so this is just intermediate array which will be pushing to this data array so this will contain our id so event id okay not get id so at this stage uh, if you are confused you can uh, just dump the event object and see what are available okay so title so title will be event get summary also we'll need start date so we'll call that start date so event get start get start date time okay similarly for end date time so we'll push the uh, to data array this sub array all right so now we'll return our data object so this should contain all of the data okay after that okay here we don't need to start we just need uh, get date time because we have already so I start so now let's check that out okay so now if we refresh that okay yeah we are getting ID title start date and end date much cleaner right okay so so after we initialize we are passing the events okay so this URL so this URL should fetch the data okay from here okay now let's go to event and let's yeah let's refresh this page okay one thing uh, previously I've done here start date I've edited that just to start and end so this data should match exactly like this so key should exactly ma match like them okay so these stars should it is required and title is required so id is optional okay so so these data these key value pair okay so key id title star n okay so now uh, if we go to api calendar yeah we should get this data exactly like here okay all right so now if we go to our events page and now we refresh we shouldn't get any error so console is okay so yeah we are getting the events so if we go to previous uh, month yeah we are getting all the data from our google calendar so this is how you integrate uh, your this front-end client full calendar with your apis